Kia ora, hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us for our Wednesday weather update recorded on January the 31st. And we've got a lot to talk about because February is about to kick off with an autumn blast, believe it or not. Now it's short lived, it's only for Friday and Saturday pretty much, but it is going to be a bit of a rough couple of days, especially if you're out camping or tramping. Let's have a look at the animated wind map for now. We've still got this low out to the east, driving into southerly wind, which as I've said is a re reverse nor'wester for many parts of the North Island. So Bay of Plenty, Waikato, Auckland, uh, Northland, all of you today getting up to that 30 degree mark. And in the South Island, depends on where you are, inland areas do look the hottest. There might just be a little bit of a cooler nor'east breeze there for some coastal areas. But all is building south of the country. So as we go into Thursday, 1st of February, um, not too bad, but you might notice that southwesterly breeze. So for Auckland in particular, which has been 30 degrees for the last couple of days, dropping down to the mid 20s or even below that. Elsewhere, not too bad, no major changes, a slight westerly, a few showers bubble up in the South Island, but that stormy system, it is down here. And the tropical low you see up here in the Coral Sea, worth keeping an eye on. For now, it is uh, no threat to us. It doesn't pose a threat next week either at this stage, but it may still form into a storm. So it's worth just monitoring. So let's have a look at Friday and what a change this is. So low pressure down here in the Southern Ocean, big, strong, windy westerlies all the way up the country, especially from North Canterbury northwards. It may be windier further there, uh, southwards, overnight Thursday into Friday morning. And then by lunchtime Friday, the windiest weather up around Wellington and Cook Strait and blustery in many places. So if you're in a tent or an awning, please download our brand new alerting app because you can set the criteria for whatever you want. So if you're in a tent, I would recommend about 20 kilometers an hour. Once you get to that point, you're starting to have a bit of a rough sleep. So let's go into Saturday because that is the worst of the weather really unless you love this weather, in which case this is the best day of the week. Uh, you've got strong winds here. Now in Auckland, they could be gale force and getting up to 90, 100 kilometers an hour later into the day. It's not 100% locked in this far out, but certainly this setup here suggests very windy weather. And that also means uh, Coromandel Peninsula, Western Bay of Plenty, Eastern Northland, Hawke's Bay, Topor, a number of places that we like to camp in are going to be pretty windy on Saturday. And then south of that, we go into that autumn phase where it's going to feel colder. There'll be snow on the mountains and a strong cold south to southwesterly change. Most of the wet weather on the west coast, but Southland and Dunedin also exposed to this uh, change. So Saturday will feel like autumn, but do not worry. Summer has not gone. This is just our location on earth. You know, the roaring 40s go all the way up to Whanganui. So if you're south of there, you do get these windy changes. Obviously this one's going nationwide, but these changes do happen from time to time. But on Sunday, this high will bring out the warm air from Sydney, from New South Wales, and spread that into the South Island. So that's what I mean by it's short-lived. The windy westerlies of El Nino, they carry on. So it's still a windy uh, Sunday for the South Island, not so bad for the North Island. And then we get into next week and high pressure over the North, summer-like weather returns properly. Uh, the overnight temperatures lift back up again, and those warm to hot nor'westers, they carry on around the South Island, fueled by that low, which is coming out of the Southern Ocean. And our final map for Tuesday of next week shows that low in the tropics still there. It doesn't look like a storm at this stage, um, and it all depends on the high pressure belt here. If it just expands a little bit, that's the end of that storm. If the high shrinks a wee bit, it'll allow that low to deepen, but it doesn't pose a threat to New Zealand because of that big block of high pressure, and that is certainly over us Tuesday next week. Lots going on. Now our Climate Watch video, the first one of this year, it is out today. We'll be talking about how February is shaping up. So if you are interested in that, the trends of temperatures, wind and rain, we've got that full forecast out for you today, Climate Watch, and that's brought to you by ruralweather.co.nz. That's all from me though, we'll catch you later on.